Hello! Happy Sunday! Shreya, Joy, Josh, David, Sakure, Solo, Solo, hello! Shower Beans, hello! <laughs> welcome! Olympus, welcome! You should call the new area Kingfisher's Enclave and add a fishing industry nearby. We will definitely get on to fishing, for sure. Nicole, Necto, Carlos, Eggsy, hello, hello. And Terabang, wow, loads of you here already. Brad, hi Brad, welcome. Ang Schumann, my fair Rachel, gosh, loads of you. Slyrak, Franklin, hello, <laughs> welcome. Happy Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are. Stuart, hello. Right. Oh, so many! Arthur, I'm going to try and keep up with chat, but um, apologies if I miss your messages. Welcome. Overcharged Egg, welcome. CJ, welcome. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a, a wonderful day. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Right, I'm going to kick it off. I'm going to turn the radio off. Turn that off. Right, so the plan. First YouTube stream. That's scary. <laughs> Um, right, the plan, yeah, I'm going to basically fill in this area here that we've left a massive gaping hole in. <laughs> so, um, and we're definitely going to come and add ferries. So that's going to be the first job. So we'll get a ferry stop in here. So we're starting to get that transport along the water's edge, heading up towards the downtown, the built up area over there. I'll try not to give any too many spoilers away. Like if people haven't watched the episode that was out today, I know this has come out pretty soon after, but um Hopefully some of you will have done, so I'll, I'll try and keep away from those areas. <laughs> well, 55 of you here already. That's mental. That's absolutely mental. Right, let's start off then. So, okay, ferries. That's going to be first port of call. Um, and what I'm going to do is put it in here. So actually, just to, oh, we can click play now, can't we? That would help. <laughs> Get a bit of actual action in. Let's turn the speed up a little bit. Um, so I am just going to dezone these guys because I don't really want them here now. Um, we're going to have our ferry stop here. So let's go ahead and get that in. Um, and of course, we're not keeping it at that height because there will definitely be some jumping sims like that. <laughs> Tina, hi, welcome in. God, there's so many people I can't keep up with it, but hello to everyone. You're super, super welcome. Right. Um, yeah, let's just get this in. I'm, that's probably a bit too low, actually. We'll start off like that. I'm keen to get the ferry line in so that I can see um, see what height it is so we can adjust it. Because I'm going to put in a whole load of keys again today. <laughs> can we get a skyline preview tonight? Oh, I don't know about that. I'm still working on that. <laughs> you can see higher density by the, sweat, the square. I want over here. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to have quite a bit of more of these sort of tower blocks and stuff over here working our way up. Um, so I'm just going to put the ferry depot right over here for now. It's not going to stay there at all because I want to make a bit of a kind of park feature out of this little cove. So it's going to go up into the Docklands, probably around the downtown when we get to that. And it would help if I turned off tree anarchy. There you go. Good start. <laughs> Good start. Um, right, yeah, let's just connect this up to the road and give it some power. And look, that zoning adjuster, honestly, every time. I swear I've moved it about three times already, this, just this week. Um, yeah. It didn't used to do that. <laughs> so yeah, let's just connect up this road. It's not going to stay like that at all. So that'll be absolutely fine for now. And we'll just give it power. Just so we can get some ferries moving around. That'll do again. Very rough. Not going to stay like that. <laughs> Justin, hello. What is the city you're building on Twitch? Um, that is, it's actually got a name now, finally. It is called Pine Sylvania. <laughs> and um, no, it's uh, it's the Tampere map by Mr. Miyagi. Um, so yeah, it's like very, very similar to this map, which is uh, why I made the decision to change this from the default theme, which is exactly the same as the Twitch map, uh, Farmland Europe theme, uh, changed this up to Boreal. Um, just say that we've got a little bit of difference, but do you know what? They're totally, they could be uh, neighbouring counties. But yeah, the build on Twitch is a county build, so it's lots of small towns, that type of thing. Rue, welcome. Welcome in. Ahiti, you named Pennsylvania, so thank you. 
driving home right now, joining the same 30 minutes. No worries, come back for it. Nanito, hi, Mark, hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, right, let's, yeah, let's just finish getting this connected up. And I'm going to change this, obviously, a lot, but I just want to see the ferries going so we can get the heights right. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to do a really basic line for now backwards and forwards and let's hope that this bridge is coming at the right height and i do just want to adjust these electric lines as well while we're at it because uh they don't line up very nicely so it's bugging me oh don't know what i just deleted them some rocks maybe oops um so we will just let's just turn that off for a second i want to try and get these in so they line up with the bridge a little bit better but um oh my god <laughs> It is my first super chat overcharged egg. Twenty pound, holy, holy, holy moly! Um, top beans for a natural born content creator. Have a good first YouTube stream, PC. Thank you so much, egg. Thank you so much. Uh, honestly, your support means the world to me. So thank you. That is my first super chat. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Which doctor is this going to be recorded? Yes. Um, yeah. So you can go away and watch the, the episode from earlier first and this will be available on YouTube afterwards. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Have we got any ferries coming through yet? Going a bit slow. Right. Let's just check the height of this because I just want to make sure it's the right height before I start bothering to put in keys and stuff like that. And I'm really hoping the other ones are all right. <laughs> Nanito, enjoying your channel, nice one. Ricardo and Ava from London, it seems like. Oh, I'm not actually from London. I, I, I lived in London for a bit, but I'm, I'm down on the south coast now. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get a few to do a proper fangirl if you DM Bippo? Yeah. Well, we've already had, um, there was a fangirl moment when Overcharged Egg came into my Twitch stream for the first time, and I, I did fangirl it massively. <laughs> I calmed down after a while, it's all right. Um, yeah, that would send me a bit mental if that happened to uh, XE. So let's not do that. <laughs> right. Oh, I haven't turned. I haven't turned the um, turn the ferry stop on. That would help. That would help. Let's do that. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's looking all right. Could go down a tiny bit further actually. Go down a tiny bit further. Maybe the pier is a few meters too high. Yeah. Let's adjust it. Brad Stanton, second X words. Oh, thank you so much for the five Australian dollar super chat. Thank you. I thank you. Really appreciate your support and welcome. It must be insanely early for you right now. So thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for, for getting up or staying up. Either of the two. <laughs> really appreciate it. Um, so, right, we're just going to do a pretty basic connection here. And I know this road is going to be pretty steep, but frankly, in Europe and in the UK, there are some pretty steep roads that go down to uh, little piers like this, I think. And it's not like great big cargo trucks are going to need to come down here. So I'm going to I'm going to live with it and say it's OK. Um, and of course, what we do want at the top up here as well is a nice parking lot. Um, so I'm thinking actually one of the big ones I'm going to bring out here and we're going to do some keys to layer in the height there as well. And these houses are probably not going to stay there because they're a little bit close. I'm actually, I don't know what the noise is like here. Yeah, it's probably not great. So we can, uh, let's just get rid of them as well. Yeah. Oh, I'll just zone it back in. <laughs> yeah, we'll get rid of them. Um, and the tree. Have I not turned off? Oh, I turned off collision. <laughs> right. Yeah. This is a uh, welcome to my way to play <laughs> City Skylines. Constantly forgetting anarchy and collision. <laughs> so, right, let's just move that back a little bit. So what I want to do... Oh, let's get, get parking lots in before I forget, because I always forget that. So we will have a little bank over here and then put in some disabled spaces across this side, I think. We're gonna have loads. <laughs> Just gonna have a load. I'm gonna do a path down this side so like they'll be able to walk either way down the road. That's a general idea there, and that's probably all right actually. That is probably enough. So keys, which honestly, like sometimes work for me, sometimes don't. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> see how this goes for a live stream. 
It looks like you missed a lot. No, no, you didn't miss a lot. We've only just started. Um, we've only just started zero, so uh, yeah, we're just uh, putting in some keys. If I can turn snapping off, putting in. We've just put in our ferry line. And that's literally it at the moment. So you're all good. You're all good. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking. Just actually, do you know what? That's probably gone in near on perfect first time which is uh not what happened when i was uh planning this out <laughs> not at all so right let's just lower that down a little bit so it's right at terrain height there and just check it's all level in fact we can just align that to the height of the car park there as well and yeah we can use surface painter to tidy all of that up but in general i actually think that's not too bad just pull that in a tiny bit so we get rid of that Actually, we'll pull that back because it's too much on the pavement there. So we'll just use Surface Painter to tidy up that tiny little split there. A hundred people watching. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I really appreciate any likes. Drop me a comment as well if you would like to as well. Uh, really helps helps my channel out. But yeah, 113 people. Oh my God, that's absolutely mad. Absolutely mad. But welcome. Welcome. Um so right yeah i'm just going to cover up the end of these trees with a little rock actually um and a couple of bushes because the way like we, we can use no controller to make it a little bit smaller and cover it up that way but actually i kind of think this would do in this particular location um right down by the coast and that sort of thing so again we'll do something here i might just adjust this just a tiny bit back actually um it's a little bit further in and then yeah what i do want to do is do a path down this side so i'm going to use i think zoo path for this it's quite like that sort of sandy color texture to it um so we'll just yeah bring that down that's not too steep people could get down that all right in their, in their wheelchairs <laughs> don't know maybe a bit of a roller coaster for that <laughs> thank you joy thank you weird seeing simon mcgee in a youtube chat and not being mod yeah it's weird actually yeah <laughs> well, welcome max welcome uh 100 viewers is the same size an entire lecture hall at university pretty impressive it, uh, yeah do you know what? it's freaking me out a little bit right there <laughs> no it's all good it's all good uh yeah right let's get the other rock in here and we can just decorate this up i've got quite a lot to do in this stream and we won't be going over two hours so that's the absolute limit um so yeah i need to I need to get a wriggle on because <laughs> detailing can uh can take me a while now there is a bit of a gap there i appreciate that people might fall down so i'll see if i can like wrangle this a little bit i have to move the key a bit more to get this right into place uh oh we can get that node there we go move it up a tiny bit yeah this is kind of this sort of doesn't look exactly right now so i might just move this in just a tiny bit um and then back down now we're covering up that node as well <laughs> minor adjustments that's all that's needed get everything to the same height yeah actually that sort of looks like it's helped that slope a little bit oh this is raised up right yeah get that back down then what's going on with the ferry lines oh it is connected is it just because i'm moving it looks like it might be okay then so we'll um we'll do that um right so yeah just a little bit of surface painter needed here in fact that car park is going to bother me now i'm gonna have to get i'm gonna have to get rid of the spaces and redo that <laughs> It's just not straight and that's annoying to me things need to uh line up properly so let's redo that so yeah turn off snapping again and re-snap it in and that fits in quite well actually that's not too shabby just lower it down yeah is that level now i think it's not level again so i could like sit and uh wrangle keys for hours <laughs> <laughs> swear we'll get there eventually um in fact i will leave it like that and then we'll just put in a few more regular spaces yeah that'll do 
I'm going to try and ignore that fact that that's uh, slightly dodgy there. I think it's just because the key is not exactly the same height as this. But I can fix that later. So, yeah, let's, um, let's fill this little gap in here. In fact, I will put a tiny bit of path in just in case anybody did actually want to walk on the key. I don't think they will here because it's not uh, not exactly... I'm not going to take them anywhere, is it? <laughs> but um, that will do. And then this little tiny split here, I'm just going to use a bit of brush tool on. Just the one by one concrete brush just to tidy that up a little bit and it's not helped. <laughs> so um, let's redo that. Let's move the path a bit. Oh, it's because the path's splitting in. All oh, right, okay. We can, uh, I think we can live with that. Slow it down a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, and then down the front, I'm going to put in more keys. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to say your name right, but Sax Catherell, thank you so much for the 79B Super Chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you. My third Super Chat ever. <laughs> thank you. I see Keen in chat. What's going on with the Keen? Um, Fee Candy, what do you think about using the ladder on the key? Oh yeah, we could do, we could do. I just didn't think that this one was long enough. You mean the stairs bit, right? I didn't think this one was long enough really to warrant it. Um, and where we've got it quite heavily over this side, um, I thought I'd leave this bit. But yeah, you absolutely could do, yeah. It would be a good shout there actually, instead of the path. Um, but in the interest of time, I'm not, <laughs> not going to redo it now. But um, yeah, no, that's a good shout. Um, right, let's turn off snap in here so that we can get in some more keys. And I think, yeah, I don't want it to snap to node, so we need to, uh, oops, press the right button for that. Let's go back to roads and turn that off. And that should work on the keys. Yeah, exactly. So we can just bring that in down. In fact, I'm actually just going to bring it right to the edge of the ferry there. And then what we are going to do is run this all the way along the front. So now I need to snap to nodes again. So we are going to uh, change that. Change that back. Um, and we will go along. I keened Eggsy because he didn't post his roast pork in the Discord, right? <laughs> Got it, right, okay. <laughs> a little green strip between the key and parking lot would be nice just from a not sealing the ground perspective. Oh, in the bit that I've just pasted in. Yeah, we could do we could do some um we could do some curb planters or something there. That would be that would be good. Yeah. And I do need to put in some more detailing around this car park as well, which I'll come on to in a second before I come on to this uh big area, which is gonna be the main thing for today. Um so yeah, what I do wanna do here is try and get this a little bit close to the road and then we're gonna push the ground in underneath it. So I will use snapping to try and get a bit straighter actually. Um because it doesn't look very straight with the road right now. Uh, and bending it was not going to help. Um, then, yeah, we'll get the terrain tool and just brush this in a little bit. Turn the strength down so we don't overdo it, which is very easily done in uh, landscaping tools on this game. Um, right, and then we need to obviously sort out the height here. <laughs> Uh, Christopher, I love your video. Thank you. Are you going to use the airports DLC in this? Um, I absolutely will in Oregon, yeah, for sure. But it's like it's way off down the road. I mean, we're only at a population of 10,000, so it won't be coming, honestly, probably anytime soon in Oregon. Um, but I will be getting the DLC on Tuesday without fail, so I'll be having a look at it. Um, and yeah, but Oregon's going to have to wait for that, unfortunately. Just not ready for it. Not ready for it. You're current oh D Devin, you're currently built binging my series along with my film, thank you. Oh you're building it, awesome, that's cool. That's cool. I'd love to I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. You can uh if you put stuff on uh Instagram or Twitter, if you find me on that, I'd um yeah, I'd love to see other people's builds of it. Be really curious. See see how other people have interpreted it. It'd be great. Right, yeah, let's just level these all out. Um, I think that's a little bit better. And what we could do here, actually, is the green the green kind of strip idea here. Um, that would be good along this waterfront, I think. For sure. Um, and here, yeah, this land is going to bother me. So we're just going to have to push that back a little bit further. Definitely didn't do it enough. 
Yeah, there we go. That should be a little bit better. We can leave it the other side. I think that's fine. Sort of joins in ish all right there. But yeah, just a few gaps to tidy up and stuff. So yeah, let's come in first and just do a tiny bit of detailing around this car park. So we'll get rid of that house for starters and just going to use the uh, very heavily stolen from Overcharged Eggs Palavan. <laughs> um, Palette is how you call it. <laughs> um, nature reserve fence, of course. We've got a lot of that going on um, in Oridon. I think in the boreal theme, it just kind of works really well with the trees uh, and all the like colours and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what we do. And we'll give these guys a handrail. Why not? Um, have we got anarchy on? Let's just turn collision off. And we can get it on. Watch me forget to turn it back on. Watch me forget. Um, right, yeah. 155 people. Wow. Holy moly. Holy moly. Halloween wrecked down right up. Yeah, indeed. Love your work. I hope your channel grows much more. It's humble seeing how happy you've been with yourself lately. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm like, I'm properly blown away by the support from everyone. Like, genuinely. So, like, thank you to everyone and anyone who's just just watched liked commented anything like it really means an awful lot to me why can i not pick up this fence because uh right let's get fences oh why can i not pick up the fence right let's just drag there we go um yeah let's get the segment as well just want to bend that a little bit round it's not uh it's not uh letting me easily manipulate it today <laughs> yeah that'll do that that texture there at the end of the path is gonna really bug me but um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna dwell on it on stream <laughs> find a solution at some point so yeah, i think we'll just bring that up around there that's probably all right as a little handrail and then actually what we will do is just um it's like because i've done yeah let's just get that back on and behave normally um there we go yeah let's bring that all the way up to the ferry terminal there so i think that's fine and then what we will do is a little bit of undergrowth bushes trees around here just to like protect those houses from the car park um so yeah just a little bit of brush i think will be fine and i will get a couple of small bushes just to add to that uh yeah just these little ones That'd be lovely hello risto olivia gosh there's so many so many people definitely can't keep up with chat today um but welcome to everyone welcome to everyone And good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Good day. <laughs> I know we've got someone from Oz here. So, Karina, welcome. Dipped in for a moment. I'm just waiting for my son. So just five minutes. Oh, well, thank thank you for dipping in. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Costa, hi, welcome. Welcome. Right. I think I'm kind of okay with this detail in here. We could, let's just have a couple of little planters, I think, in here. Because, yeah, that the lip on that as well if we can kind of cover that up a little bit i think it would be um good so i might just do a couple of uh sort of sporadic ones is that the word for it <laughs> spread out we're gonna see that lip a little bit but that's all right rather than just doing like one continuous one all the way up the length i think that'll look a little bit a little bit nicer we can get them slightly more evenly spaced um yeah right uh and then yeah i'm thinking just a couple of like small green bushes in here let's get tree anarchy on yeah we could just do a little row of these actually leave it quite simple green oh i've moved that one on the end <laughs> yeah this will do basic basic well, that's all right got a lot of flowers in other places i think sometimes i overdo the flowers <laughs> a little bit much 12 noon gang here must be somewhere 
somewhere west of where I am. <laughs> Good evening from France. Welcome in, Jan. Hello. Hello from England. 9.55 p.m. here. Oh, whereabouts are you, Risto? Who in Texas? Well, we are literally like there is a <laughs> global presence here. That's mental. Welcome. Welcome. Right. Now, this little bit here. Yeah, I've just realised this key is... Um, I don't know how we feel about having that like that. I'm not too keen on it. I'm just wondering, actually. I don't know if I've ever used no controller to slope a key before. Oh, yeah. Okay, it does work. Cool. Well, that's good to know. It's the first time I've ever done that. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that's got to be some greenery or something to cover this up because I'm not sure. I don't really want a wall or anything in there. Um, yeah, maybe some slightly bigger bushes and go amiss. Florida, Brazil, California, Melbourne, Switzerland. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Canada again. Indonesia. Wow. Toronto, Hungary, Sweden. <laughs> what has it? Wow. Welcome to everybody. Um, yeah, maybe just a little repeated pattern like this. We'll do just up to this corner. Um, just like that and then what we can do is put in a bigger um tree here uh something maybe a little bit bigger than that or we could put in a couple actually yeah just two of these uh it's trying to skip because the terrain is now all really dodgy underneath but yeah that'll do little and we've got a couple of bushes there so i don't know i'm not hugely keen on that but i think it will do for now so right before i detail up this waterfront i just want to come on to the main thing that we're gonna do today um so what we're gonna do is this square here and the plan so yeah i've just left this massive gaping hole <laughs> in the middle of this uh, area so the plan for this is to kind of extend the whole market um complex thing down but if anyone if anyone knows shoreditch in london it's like a bit trendy and they have loads of like sort of container bars and that sort of thing that's what i'm going to try and go for here so it's a little bit market but lots of like cafes and bars and random things um arthur with a 20 brazilian money i don't know i don't know exactly what brazilian money is 20r wow super chat thank you so much cheers from brazil cheers from england Thank you so much for the super chat. That's like, that's, I'm really grateful. Thank you so much. So generous. Lance, welcome. Welcome. Costa, Daniel, fish market too. No fish market. So um, on my Twitch stream, I've done a lot of markets in the last week. We've done this one here. Um, I did a fish market extension on my last Twitch stream. Um, so there is not going to be a fish market here only because um, I am going to do that further down the coast so um let's just make sure this is all level yeah i'm going to do that further down the coast a bit more probably around this area i'm thinking this little bit here would be quite a good little fishing um very like not not harbor but like a little bit of a little bit of a fishing harbor so i think that is we're going to put fishing down there and i'll put the fish market closer to that just to avoid the trucks and stuff so this is going to be yeah i'm just going to use lots of the green D uh yeah green cities dlc uh, commercial the organic and local produce buildings in here um to yeah kind of make a little bit of a trendy area i'm going to move this plaza as well um, and we're going to use keys again in here just to tidy up that back wall um so it's going to be a lot of keys tonight a lot of keys uh but actually these ones have gone in reasonably smoothly so hopefully that'll continue <laughs> hopefully that'll continue What's up you? Thank you, lads. Thank you. I know, making Oridan Box Park. Exactly, exactly, Box Park. I mean, it's not, okay, so like, you obviously know Shoreditch and Box Park. It's not going to look exactly like that, but there's like a little tiny slither of inspiration that I've taken from that area. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's a, I'm trying to go for a similar vibe, but it's not going to look exactly like that. Um, oh, look, all these people are confused. So, right, with this, okay, I know that this is not in the centre of this box, and I've been debating this, whether it should be in the centre of that, like, those junctions roads there. Or if when you're looking from the middle of this 
metro, you're looking down and you see the statue. I see that's what I'm thinking. It's actually like there, to be honest. It needs to go a tiny bit to the right. I'm thinking that's better than being in the middle of the, the box. How do you have Oregon inspired build without prominent nature reserve? Well, the nature, yeah, that's very true. It's very true. The nature of the reserve is going to come. I was going to do one around here, um, but I think I still will do that and it will come. It will come. We'll get a nature reserve. Don't worry. We'll have everything in this city. Um, so yeah, let's just move this over just a tiny bit because I want to just get this right and let's uh, make sure it's lined nicely to the road. I think just like that will be fine. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just using first person camera here because I want to make sure this is right. Um, if I'm gonna spend ages like aligning this, woo, uh, then yeah, I want to make sure it's all good. Uh, oops, I didn't I didn't mean to do that, but I think that's okay. I'm just gonna move it a tiny bit further back. Just a little bit, but that should be all right. I'm feeling like it's relatively lined up, so it is slightly off center here. But I feel like that view's better. That's what I'm going for. Unless people have a different opinion. <laughs> Sounds nice, a little fishery organic village vibe. Yeah, do what down the coast. Or have I missed a chat? <laughs> Hello, Riley from the USA. Hello. Missed the start. You haven't missed too much. We just put in some ferries and that's all right. What am I going to call this district? Well, I need name suggestions. I'm absolutely terrible at names. So um, that is why I will happily take names from all of you. See, Mulberry Garden is the park district that I've got around here. Again, that's not, that's not going to stay. But yeah, you guys can, you guys can name it. That's, that's, uh, that's what you're there for. So if you've got something that, uh, that I like, <laughs> then definitely, wait, fa definitely facing alignment goals, facing the water. I will like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. What am I going to... Uh, going to call this district yeah so let me know let me know if you've got any name suggestions and um i will definitely take them olivia thank you so much that is insanely generous is that 50 us dollars that is insanely generous oh my god thank you so much <laughs> so glad i found your channel you've inspired me to play cs again oh i'm so glad i'm so glad it's uh it's um an amazing game it's an amazing game wow well, thank you that's insanely generous thank you so much can you place a road to line it up? Oh, what this? I'm going to place loads of pedestrian roads in here. There's going to be loads of pedestrian roads flowing through the whole thing um, because it's going to be kind of yeah a bit of a pedestrian market type vibes. That's what we're going for. Um, I'm just going to use no control on these to widen it up. Can we call the market square? Prepare to market. <laughs> Do you know what? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Overcharge deck. Yeah. <laughs> Fair to market, yeah. No, I like that. Have I even got a district on here? No. Yes. Brilliant name. Thank you. And thank you for my first ever super chat. <laughs> this is definitely prepare to market. I love that. <laughs> In honour of uh, Palavan as well. <laughs> and you, Meg. There we go. Okay, we've got our name then. <laughs> thank you. OE gardens from your first super chat. I want this as well. We can do it. We can do a whole OE district if you want. I, don't, I like that. And it's not really, yeah, I mean, it's not exactly much of a park area if I show you. It's just so that I could get the uh, toilet, toilets in. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> we can extend it. We can extend it, make it nicer. Kingfisher's Enclave for the residential area. I like that actually. For this, this one, is that what you mean? Olympus. Lionel Messi face reveal. Yeah, my face has been on Twitch, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, let's use no controller here. I'm just going to whack them up to 250%, I think. Yeah, that feels about right. So we've got this nice uh, wide path coming down, and then we're going to do keys either side. Um, so that is hopefully going to yeah take people down from the metro and the tram down into this little uh, entertainment district. It's your amazing attention to detail, something that comes from something in your life, like your career. Um, well, uh, I don't know, really. I don't know. I mean, in my career, I have to have attention to detail because I'm doing stuff that's uh, important to uh, some 
big clients, I guess. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else about it, but yeah, intention to detail is like essential in my day-to-day -day career. So I guess you could say that, but my day-to-day -day career is not creative in any sense of the word. So um, <laughs> I don't know if creative detail comes from that. Nope. Um, I have no idea where that comes from. <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't know, but thank you. That's a nice comment. I overcharged toilets. Yeah, <laughs> like that toilet part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is literally all that's in there at the moment. So we'll make it better. We'll... Oh, we've got plazas. We've got like plazas and little trees and farm fence and nice stuff. <laughs> um, right. And then I'm actually going to bring these down this way again, just to try and like cover up some of this um terrain bumpiness that we've got going on and what I'm going to do is line these nodes up to the bottom here um yeah oh my coaster stuck to my drink <laughs> oh the little section that uh, this one for what was it kingfisher's enclave I like that let's do that Let's do that. Good name. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have named the whole map. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, no, I like that. I did see I did see that in the comments as well. Now it's a good name. If you never charge people to use the toilets and run across the cartoon, have you ever really played it a lot? That's very true. That's very true. <laughs> Overcharge power for the power station. Oh yeah, yeah. That's another that's another good name, Brad. Um now have a silly mental crossover of Jurassic Parks and Tokens. Yeah. Um right. Let's uh got carry on building, got carry on building. Right. Um yeah, I think if I align I think that's probably a little bit too high there. Yeah, so I'm just gonna move that node down a little bit and just make sure that's all level height. And then we can bring the keys back to sort of line up with that node there and what i will do actually first because we're going to have loads of pedestrian roads in here is i'm going to just bring out a bit of that road network um so that we've got it so i definitely want turn snapping on for this i definitely want it to flow all the way around this plaza here um so let's do that and we'll use move it just to get that into place I want it right right up right next to the plaza yeah like that um let's just delete these bits out a second and then yeah so i'm thinking maybe actually it comes down from here what could be hmm. yeah let's uh let's just move that node try and line it up with this road here so these are all one-way roads as well which is a bit annoying so i need to make sure that they um <laughs> flow through this area correct correctly so I think that will be okay. So then we can line up the keys to these nodes here. And what I might do here actually as well is use node controllers to make this a little bit smaller. Um, so it sort of curves around. It isn't quite so bulky in the middle of this particular area. That's maybe a little bit, <laughs> a little bit small. Um, and that's now made that really wonky there. Can we just move that? Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Curvy key. Mm, don't know. I don't know how we feel about that. <laughs> the height is definitely not right. Um, but what I am going to do there is use a little bit of wool, I think, to cover that up. So, mm, yeah, it's not looking great, is it? Maybe we'll make that a little bit better. A little bit bigger, even. Um, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Can you do a series with no mods and on a vanilla setting? I think I'd really struggle at that, I'll be honest. Like, I, it's been a really long time since I've played vanilla and I think it takes uh, a certain skill to uh, to detail really well. Uh, um, overcharged <laughs> in vanilla. Like, genuinely, I think I'd really, really struggle to go back to vanilla now. Um, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's not, it's not off the cards. It's not off the cards. Could give it a go. <laughs> I'd need to, I'd need a lot of practice. I think, I think that's the main thing. Need a lot of practice. Um, right. Ugh, the keys flipped around. See, this is why when I was building that, um, the harbour, 
down the other side, the keys consistently flip round, and honestly, like, <laughs> genuinely, I was, like, playing with them for hours. <laughs> hours. It was uh, mental. Absolutely mental. I think we're going to get the same thing here. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's just the, gra the ground poking up a little bit there I'm not too keen on. And that is obviously way too high. We're going to spend the whole stream uh, watching me play with the keys right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but City Skylines without mods is not viable. It totally is. It totally is. I, I played at Vanilla for years. Like when I first got the game, I was kind of like a bit naive to mods and yeah, played at Vanilla for, for years and it was fine. But then once you discover mods, it's very difficult to go back, I think. I think that's that's the main issue. <laughs> but no, it's still an enjoyable game in Vanilla. Uh, oh God, this like pit here is uh, not good. Maybe we just move that away from the road. So we can get it in a bit better there. I think what we have to do is just a bit of detailing on the end there to cover that up. And yeah, we'll put walls in there. So hopefully that should... Uh... Yeah, there we go. That was what I was missing. That is what I was missing. Uh, that's going to help a lot with that. Should line up reasonably well now, actually, if we all get it to the right height. Um, I will move on from keys at some point in the stream. <laughs> Big skate path vibes off this key area. Yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be fun. Um, I just realised these are not sloped, so let's go ahead and slope those. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, this isn't looking too bad right now. Ground is still a little bit bumpy in front of it, but I think... I don't think there's going to be much we can do about that just because it's quite close to the road um i will try one more time to uh level it out a little bit without trying to flip the keys around again no nah, it's not doing anything so yeah look i think that is okay this path looks like a bit of a monster now <laughs> might just uh tone it down just a little bit just a little bit you can do many mods <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know i'm not too i'm not too heavy on the mods not too heavy <laughs> not compared to some lighter on the assets got less than 2000 on loading screen mod which i think is a uh, an achievement so <laughs> um it is helping doing a series where i'm consciously not trying not to, to use as few workshop assets as possible actually is uh helping with Workshop addiction, <laughs> for sure. Smeagol, hello, welcome. If they've asked me, planter at the end of the keys, hide the craziness. Yeah, we're definitely going to do some bits in here, for sure. Oh, what, these ends? Actually, that would go really well with the planter. Yeah, good shout. Right, let's just, before we do any detailing on that, let's get in a bit of a crazy road network. So, yeah, what I want here is lots of, it's come across as a really pedestrian vibe with lots of uh, little, of lots of the little organic produce buildings basically all around it so i kind of want little squares off it uh, all over the place and that sort of thing it's very hard to explain i just have to do it <laughs> just have to do it um but i'm thinking like stuff like this i'm gonna turn snap it back off so we get um a bit more of a pattern in um maybe if i just make that straight that might look a little bit better there yeah Thinking lots of little blocks like this. Oh, what am I doing? I need to turn that around. Um, where we can put little shops around. So we'll get some in in a second and see what I'm uh, trying to go for. So I can stop trying to explain it in a really, really poor way. Um, less good with words, I am. <laughs> so, yeah. I kind of, the way, I'm going to have to check all these roads and make sure it's all kind of all right. Because we've got them coming in, going out there going round a weird way there there maybe this one needs to turn around actually and that might make a little bit more sense make it feel like it's flowing through the area a little bit a little bit better um but i'm probably going to add some more of those roads in i will just connect up this path um just so we've got that uh bring that 
back down to in fact we could just connect it up at the end there it looks a little bit random so i'll probably change that um probably change that up jeremy thunder welcome glaucoma welcome there's so many people here brandon 214 oh my god thank you so much for turning up um thank you so much that's absolutely mind-blowing every viewer needs to be hitting the like thanks david ashby <laughs> um yeah yeah hit the like button if you are enjoying it I really appreciate that tuning in from canada hey guy buddy welcome welcome from canada lord kitten hello from germany welcome welcome on in right let's um let's get some assets down so yeah let's get some assets down so what we want is loads of these little tiny buildings so i'm actually just before i do that i am just gonna block mass fill this in with surface painter and it's going to look very concretey for now but we'll have planters we'll have hedges and things like that in here actually um so it will be more color than what we're seeing right now but you just have to bear with me as it all comes together <laughs> hopefully anyway hopefully um so yeah we'll do that and then yeah what we want is tons of these like little small not those ones because they're too big but um thinking like the ones which are sort of one or two depth so yeah stuff like this so let's just start off over here um and i'm thinking yeah we'll have a few ones like this and then these are quite good so these make like almost look like they're little cafes so you can kind of join them up and what we will do is put a few tables in front of them um and some hedges to give it a bit of a forecourt so i'm actually going to put three in i think make it a little bit better bigger even um so yeah we'll do that and then what we can do is come in you can find that table in here which i think is that one isn't it um and we can like set some more out out the front uh let's put one in there set a couple more up actually why not yeah we can do that and then what we can do as well is um use some plant pots or the such like yes yeah, so i'm thinking these ones actually which i spent about a day trying to find the last twitch tree um and yeah if you're ever searching for an asset like that comes with a building uh you can if you've got bob you can use bob obviously to find the name out of it it's a pretty useful trick that i had never considered before <laughs> last wednesday um but yeah so what we'll do is we'll create a little area for this cafe just like this um Let's just bring that in a little bit better oh there's a door there as well actually so let's keep it so that they can have access there because i like to look at the assets like you see there's yeah so they can get out the side there so i like to try to kind of try and have things make sense for how they are uh orientated and what's built into the assets i don't really want to hedge up the back there necessarily so we could leave that open there's going to be some more stuff in there behind there so yeah let's go back so that's probably all right for that um basic but it just extends it out so we've got like three one by one units and it now looks like a slightly bigger little cafe type area um and then yeah we'll find a few more of these assets not that one i'm thinking yeah more of this one so we're gonna have a few cafes around this area actually i don't like that one so we'll get rid of that um this one could be good for around here as well maybe this comes off on this side I don't know if there's really much more that we need to do to this one. I don't know if there's much more. Can we put the green one in the middle? Uh, do you know what actually I should do? That's a very good shout. Is uh, Let's um, just make these all the same colour. Should we make them all green actually? I like the green colour. Yeah, it did look a bit random like that, didn't it? <laughs> That's why we need live streams. <laughs> why we need live streams. And then we've got blue over there, yellow over there. That's quite nice, actually. That's quite nice. Good shout, Mags. Thank you. Lara, welcome. Glad you could pop by. Love you to say anything. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. It's Josh T90 with the $20. Is that a super sticker? Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. That's insanely generous. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, <laughs> 223 people there as well. Mental. Thank you so much for turning up. I really, really appreciate it. So, right. 
Now, I'm thinking this road has got to come out a little bit. And we can use piles here as well, so we don't always have to use this pedestrian road. But I'm thinking I'd quite like to use it as much as possible. So actually, what we will do here... I'll pull that out like that. Again, I'm going to do quite rough patterns, because I want it to look a little bit... A little bit higgledy-piggledy, if that's a <laughs> correct terminology for that. Um, let's not take nodes and segments. So yeah, we'll just move this over just a tiny bit. And that hedge is not lining up now, so I will sort that out. I think we'll... Actually, let's move it up to this road so that hedge aligns with the road. Actually, and then because it's a slight diagonal like that, that hedge now works. So yeah, we can leave that there. Um, let's pull this out here, yeah. And then we can do some more detailing around that. What I will do just before I get too bogged down in that is get in a few more assets and then we can go around and have a look at what detailing is needed on them. So yeah, I think um, there's going to be lots of the same. Lots of the same. Um, these ones are pretty cool, actually. I quite like those. They're, they're very uh, box park to me, a few of these in. But actually what I do want here is them to all be different colours, for sure because um, I think that'll look a little bit better yeah um, and what I will do actually here as well is just move them I think if we put them right up close to each other they're pretty close anyway when they're just zoned in but that just yeah might look just a tiny bit better yeah um, do we want one more there? we could have one more a four. Is there another colour? Hopefully it'll come in blue. Get a blue one in and that would be a... Is there going to be a blue one? Yay, excellent. Okay. Yeah, and then we can just move that one up as well. Yeah, I think four fits in quite nicely there as well. And what's the back of them like? A little bench. Yeah, that's fine. Up against the key. That doesn't look too bad. Very random assets, but um, yeah, not too bad. <laughs> Um, hello Sean from Australia, wow early, yeah, good morning to you, yeah. Regards from Colombia, welcome Oscar, leaving your contact, thank you so much. What's the road that I'm using here? Um, I'm pretty sure it's part of Vanilla Plus Plus, someone correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure it is, it's just the cobblestone pedestrian road. I don't remember downloading it if it's not part of the Vanilla Plus Plus pack, I'll be honest, so. Maybe a fountain in the centre of the cafes, good shout good shout in there hint and here definitely let's do that yeah uh no okay we could go like no <laughs> i'm not gonna go country club grand even i think this one's pretty good this is one uh no it's a vanilla one isn't it is that a vanilla one yeah yeah this one's good that worked nicely and then we definitely need benches in around that um, and some light. Oh, we've got, we've got quite a few lights on the road. We'll have to check out the uh, nighttime view in a sec and see what that's like. But yeah, we could definitely do a few benches just like this. And I know I should just use a prop line tool. <laughs> Sometimes I just make things difficult. <laughs> um, a little bit of back to back bench action. <laughs> Is that a thing? Um, yeah, let's just move them a little bit closer. In fact, actually, what I will do now is uh, delete these and copy the ones that I've just moved in nice and close. And then we don't have to do that again. <laughs> Should have done that in the first place. Um, yeah, it's not exactly evenly spaced, but we can, uh, we can live with that. I'll probably come through off stream and correct some of the tiny minor flaws that are going to send my OCD nuts. <laughs> I won't, I won't put you through it on stream. I should try the repaint mod so you don't have to keep resetting the buildings. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, I, yeah, I should. You no, know, you're absolutely right. I just, yeah, it's just one that I've just never got, to be honest. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, definitely, I definitely should. It would make life a lot easier. <laughs> make life a lot easier. I've corrected that now anyway. Right. So I do want a few more buildings in here. Um, and there were some other ones that we could use. Um, the yeah like these ones we could have a few of those in somewhere i'm thinking not here um but we can definitely utilize those somewhere um and also market stools as well let's not forget about market stools so well i think it may be like actually oops 
not that. I'm thinking maybe some kind of shop in here, actually. Something a little bit bigger um, on this corner. So let's just get that in. And then we can move that around. The suit. Yeah. Don't think it's vanilla plus plus. At least I haven't noticed it in my roads. I think it was a recent addition. Don't, I, might, I might be completely wrong there. I can check afterwards and, uh, and post it up. Little public stage maybe would look good here. That's a good shout. In these trees, I guess, big ones. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be having some trees in here somewhere. <laughs> For sure. Um, and what I might do here is line up those hedges and then we can put in another one of those. Might use picker for that, is it going to work? Yes, lovely. Yeah, just a block off that corner and then that sits quite nicely there. Um, right, let's go back to the assets. Um, let's just get rid of that and see what other big one. Well, yeah, no, that one's huge. Um, again, that's too big, I think, for here. Yeah, all of those ones are soy and lentils. This one's not as bad. I'm just wondering if it could go in here with its back to the other one. And the nice thing about these buildings as well is when you've got this big concrete area, is all the grass on the roof it just adds a little bit of colour to it. Um, I mm, don't know if that's a bit too big. There's enough space up the back and out the front. No, I think it's alright. I think it's alright. And then in here we can just do a little bit of um, benches or something to fill this particular area. Actually, let's do a, let's do some kind of table. Yeah, these ones quite modern. Just putting three of those in that particular area. And then up the back here, we'll find some more... Um, Find some more of these. I think maybe could add in another one of these. Although which way round does it go? It's got the hedges all up front. Yeah, it's a bit. That is does work actually in the orientation it's uh, meant to be in. <laughs> so we'll leave that. What about a couple of little market stalls? They don't fit in, do they? We could move them though. Kind of cool if they actually like dug into the the key. <laughs> um, if that was actually a thing, that would look pretty cool actually it right up against the back of the key um, and what we can do with these as well is bring them really up close like the roofs overlap a tiny bit there but it doesn't look too bad like from that point of view it's not like you can get away with it from a distance <laughs> you can get away with it oh press press drag Pre, pre, pre drag. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry. Love your work. Cheers. Thank you so much for the OSD 500. Thank you so much. You guys are being so generous. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Picker or find it will tell you where the road is from for you. Right. What? On find it? By Urbanist. Oh, okay, there you go. Clearly not vanilla plus plus, right? <laughs> They kind of remind me of little restaurants and clubs alongside the riverside in my city. Yeah, that's the type of thing I want to go for is like a little bit of an entertainment slash market type district. So, yeah, I mean, you can see that's kind of what I want to do over this whole area is that sort of thing. Um, little market stalls, eateries, a couple of little like the, the green city shops are absolutely fine. Green, uh, yeah, green cities, DLC shops, organic produce shops. Um, see, I think that's all right. We've then got this kind of like dead space in the corner though, uh, which could always fill up with just a random little box market thing. Yeah, I use these to extend the fish market and they go pretty well because the colours of them, like the blue ones, um, sort of match those market stalls in the fish market quite well. Quite nice. Cobblestone Lane by Urbanist, yeah, there you go. <laughs> skate park chess game or something we could we could introduce a skate park actually um or the chess board i mean let's have a little look let's have a little look i'm just gonna plot them both down and then we can we can see the skate park skate park if i can speak correctly could look quite good actually up in this back corner uh let's just have a little look let's have a little look I don't know, what do we think? What do we think? It starts to look like an awesome spot for a summer evening. Makes me long for summer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it does. 
looking out over there on the cruise ships going past and the castle or the fort yeah <laughs> no it does definitely do we like the skate park there what are we thinking looks good good chessboard the chessboard could come in over the other side actually we could do it sort of in the middle let's we can move these roads around and do it in the middle of here maybe at a slightly off angle looks nice cool i always thought the skate park looked weird maybe something with extra de detail it might look okay i quite like the skate park. <laughs> it does look very like it's very like there's an edge to it i get what you mean there and also the fence isn't complete as well but that's something we can fix actually we could just use bob to remove the fence it's probably actually what i'll do here coming along nicely skate is good uh chess tables around it would be neat uh oh what here <laughs> let's um i think i think we will put this in here actually it's going to help to fill up the space instead of me dumping in absolutely loads of commercial as well might leave the trees on it as well a little bit controversial they need uh planters or something underneath them rather than just sticking out of the concrete but um, this is going to mess this up slightly, but I'll just adjust it a tiny bit and it will look all right and fit it into this gap. Trampoline park works well with the skate park. Actually, that's another good shout, yeah. I wasn't thinking I was going to put loads of parks in here. Here we go. The o OE Gardens is uh, going to be a bit more park-like now. <laughs> A bit more park like um i haven't unlocked i haven't unlocked the trampoline park yet because we don't have a level five city park that's a bummer that would have been really good there um are you excited for the new detailing tools coming up with the new app i am definitely definitely yeah the tree replacer thing looks awesome i'm super excited i can't i can't wait to can't wait to give it a whirl although i'm a little bit nervous now about mods and stuff oh jeez so we'll see we'll see we'll see, we'll see. Reese Thomas, hello, welcome. Yeah, too often you see the chess tables used in odd places. Think they'd fit in here in the large chessboard, though. What round? Yeah, what inside the road? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to add too many picnic uh, benches. I think inside that road. So, I think we'll leave that. Let's let's see what assets we can put around it here. Um, let's see that. Right. I think we'd like to use most of the kind of like the one or two depth ones that i really wanted to use here so we could have a public market on this end although the back of it i don't think it looks particularly good i don't know Does it go all the way through oh that could work well it's got the dumpsters out the back but this could work on this corner actually because it kind of looks like you could get in from both sides so we could leave that there don't mind that too much this one's quite bulky let's have a little look and it doesn't have the green roof either but i think if we flip it around like that we'll just get a little bit of height on this side i think it's what we want mm, that looks like more the entrance side than this side i don't know actually both does yeah quite w works again actually like sort of thinking that they could get in from both sides there not too bad there not too bad there I'm doing the tornado count country and I have no unlock all and no unlimited money but I'm using mods. <laughs> do you know I've never I've never tried to do that. <laughs> I think I might have tried once and then given up. The uh the disaster scenarios are intense, is all I can say to that. <laughs> Swimmy, first time catching a live as don't use Twitch, loving the series, which is odd since I've never played SimCity or this style of game really. Have you not? Have you not? Well I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> um this area need a lot of planters with bushes and small trees yeah it does yeah we've got we've got a fair amount of tree uh green here but yeah we will definitely come in with uh more greenery for sure i'm thinking up the front here only because it goes up to the water i'm actually thinking i might do some little just low marketplace stalls um and spin them around so people can kind of walk through them we can put paths through them as well so we do actually get walkability there which would hopefully look all right um and yeah those bins like end up really close together when you do this but it sort of works i think you can get away with it um 
So yeah, let's just put in a few of these, I think, to fill this space. In fact, we could we could layer it too deep in a couple of places. Um, oh, hello. Not that. Not that. Uh, yeah, let's just copy them. Don't know how close we can go to each other. But yeah, that's all right. Still space for the bins. I'll just add in a couple more. I might just put them at a slight angle. So I like markets that don't look too perfect, I think, look a little bit better. Um, can we squeeze in another one here? I think we probably can. Let's go for it. Again, I'll just like change the angle up very, very slightly. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad in front of there. And then we could always have a bit of a kind of extension to this. But we could have another fountain in. Is that maybe overdoing it? Maybe overdoing it. You need lots of RAM if you're planning to use custom assets from the workshop. You do. <laughs> you do. Perfect place to enjoy an ice cream. That sparks a very good idea. Let's um. And actually, that's one thing we can definitely use in here is some of these as well, which would look quite good we could even do it in this space next to the market actually um kind of have a bit of a food court although i think actually what we we'll, we'll, yeah let's i'm going to do a whole area as a bit of a food court with little market stalls like that kind of similar ish to what we did um where was it over here but yeah a little bit more um spaced out i suppose than that slightly different orientation that's what we're going for um yeah Bushify it like Acropolis. <laughs> I may have missed the connotation for that. <laughs> Let's put in an ice cream truck though. I like that idea. That's a that's a good one. Um, yeah. Let's do that. Um, just what? Yeah, I think I'll keep it away from that road. I'll do it on this side. And what we could? Uh, oh, if I can um, not have it on the key there. Yeah, we can do that. And we could have some of the chessboard picnic tables here outside it. Uh, hmm, I'm thinking maybe like that's very square so let's change it up a little bit let's spin some of them around actually yeah I think that looks a little bit better up against the roads just gives a bit more variation less less square on square straight edges all that kind of stuff um, yeah let's do that just four of them I think will be fine and then what we could do is like a really big flower bed in the middle here I'm wondering if we could use just these rather than putting in our usual now because they look a bit crap <laughs> let's not do that um could we change the texture up a little bit as well that's another idea which actually would probably look quite good if we can get it right um Mm, no, it might look a little bit random actually. I can change my mind on that. I think we'll go for a planter here. Nice big bit of greenery. Um, yeah, something pretty decent size, I think. Sarah Ducky, thank you so much for the 20 Australian dollars. Super chat. I adore your work. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's really insanely generous of you. Um, and thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying the, enjoying the stuff, enjoying the cities, detailing. I'm glad you're all enjoying it. Never realised those picnic benches were chessboards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Suburb name suggestion Islesbury. Yeah, that's a good that's a good suggestion. That's a good suggestion. Um I'm just wondering if I actually might just make a slightly slightly different pattern out of this. Um but I am gonna spin that round a little bit because it's too um it is too not straight enough <laughs> so i like things some things to be completely straight right and other things to not be <laughs> um but that that looks okay ish these rows are all like it's meant to be like because they're cobblestone look a little bit old and rough it doesn't need to be in a perfect grid um I want it to look a little bit piggledy piggledy like i said i don't know if that's terminology for it but that's what we're going for um shall we have some brighter flowers in here or just the duller ones. Let's go for bright. Let's go for bright. And in fact, what I might do is just put a massive bush shrub in the middle. 
And then, yeah, we can use some of these brighter ones around the outside. Just put in a few of these. Um, mix colours up a little bit more than that. Some purple in. And I will just add a little bit of greenery as well. And just some of those spare bits. Yeah, that's all right. Got the fountain there. I feel like the fountain's too plain. I feel like it needs something. Like I don't know if we can um put a planter around it and then lift it up, can we? Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Yeah. I just feel like it was too plain sitting on the um sitting on the concrete there. So yeah, we're gonna do this. Add in a little bit more colour. I'm gonna move them around so they're um <laughs> square on it and not exactly like that. That one is so very slightly out as well. <laughs> You're going to be able to pick it up. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, that's good. So let's drag all of those and then try and get rid of the, oh, the fountain. <laughs> May have to, um, let's just delete the fountain and then we'll put it back in. So let's line these up nicely in the middle here and then we can put that back in. And then we can put some nice greenery all around it. So let's just make sure that's right in the centre. Yeah. Then we can lift it up. Yeah. That's so much better. That's so much better. I always struggle with that fountain because I find it to be very plain. Running console with City Skylines, 120k population, pure vanilla. I would love to get PC and use mods. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Paul. That's that's impressive. 120k population. Yeah. Uh, on console, pool. yeah. It's, it, I always find it very impre impressive. People who who play pure vanilla, and particularly on console. I've never played it on console, so I don't know what it's like. But I'm just so used to playing it on um, PC. I feel like it just can't be can't be as easy on console. Uh, the controls and whatnot. So yeah, I'm always very impressed with console players, have to say, and vanilla players. What they can do just with the vanilla game. Um, we're gonna have to raise it up a little bit more, that fountain, I think, to hide some of these bushes overlapping. I don't know if this is a little bit too much colour now. <laughs> um, maybe slightly overdoing it. <laughs> maybe a little bit more greenery was needed here. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of these ones because I'm not loving those. I'm gonna to stick to like the darker coloured flowers. Um, they just feel a little bit more natural. Don't know. Don't know how to explain that, but yeah, they were a little bit too too much next to this fountain. Want something that sort of blends in a little bit better. Um, let's see the purple one. Yeah, we haven't got any of that. And then what we can do is well, it's all kind of sticking out over the edge, but it's not too bad. Lift that up a little bit, and then we can just adjust some of them so it's not quite as overlapping. Might have to lift that up a little bit more actually. As long as it's not floating above the flower bed, then I think we'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's better. I feel like that's better. And then what I will do as well, just around this little flower bed, is add in a couple more benches. Um, and we'll maybe change it up here. Use the concrete ones, maybe. No. No, I'm just going to stick to the... Uh, Good old basic bench. Yeah, just a couple of these I think uh, will help. Nice little plate to sit and uh, ponder the world, <laughs> if that's such a thing. Now, I said I was going to add in paths here as well, so I'm just going to do that before I forget. There we go. So they should be able to walk through that. And we do want other places where they're walking around because it's good to see people walking all over, walking all over the streety bits. Um, so I think that's fine. I haven't seen anyone use this. I don't know if anyone's noticed that in the background, but um, it should be all hooked up and OK to use. So keep an eye on that. OK, I'm pretty happy with this area. I mean, we could carry on adding in little bits of detail here and there but uh sometimes you've got to learn when to stop right <laughs> oh 
What do I think are the most useful mods for starting players? Move it. Hundred percent. Move it is like if you want if you want to do um detailing and stuff like that, move it is a a massive lifesaver. But then you kind of need uh like prop and tree anarchy or tree anarchy or prop anarchy, whichever way you go for those um with it. And then road anarchy as well and find road tools are very useful and of course traffic manager if you want to do traffic management i mean there's so many good mods i'd say they're probably like my starting ones and i love first person camera and in fact let's just do a little bit of uh, traffic management here because i'm going to stop all of these cars from coming down here and we just want we're going to need those three on here so that's fine but we can stop any cars or taxis or buses because they're just not needed in here I'm going to check all the roads going in. Just make sure that is turned off. Which I think that's it, actually. Those two are going out, yeah. So that should stop cars from coming down here. And we also need to be aware if any of these have got uh, parking spaces on them as well to take them off. But I think we're all good with that. Okay, so that's one half done. That's one half done. <laughs> Are you going to keep it all the vanilla traffic or swap out? You mean the vehicle assets? I will probably keep them as vanilla. Um, like I might, I might do when we get towards the end of it. I might do an, like an episode or something where I swap them all out and uh, do some cool stuff like that. But uh, for the for the bulk of the series, they're just going to stay as the um, the vanilla ones for that. Yeah, um, just because like the I, what I'm trying to do. <clears throat> excuse me with Oridan is like keep it as as vanilla as possible I suppose you could say so um yeah stuff like the cars matter less to me I think uh the donut vans I know are horrendous and loads of people have commented on that but they are what they are aren't they they're part of city skylines you kind of gotta gotta love them in a weird way <laughs> don't you I don't know maybe you don't <laughs> yeah uh 238 people that blows my mind thank you all so much for turning up right i think what i am gonna do is put in a little bit more of the pedestrian road up here um the trampoline park would go really well with the skate park but i don't know how we'd get it in well sorry i don't have it at the moment so i'm not gonna be able to put it in now it's more what i meant <laughs> um and i kind of want to get the area finished but we could always come in and swap it in in a later date so we shall see on that and this is sloping is this sloping up a little bit here is that my eyes yeah it's a tiny bit let's just make sure that's all flat oh i'll level it out to there yeah i think that's fine then that looks a little bit janky and weird so let's just sort that out Oh wow, that's a lot. Okay, is that one much lower than all the rest of them? Yeah, that's why. All right, sorted. Okay, that's better. So yeah, I think what I will do is just more of the same as those here. So let's find some little cafes and that sort of thing. Um, we could do another little box, row of box cafes again in here very similar thing although actually like with this road yeah I, I might not do the forecourt on these and just leave them quite open I'm wondering like can it go can it go with one of these let's just delete those out see if we can uh, get them to sort of look all right together and then we can have a bit of a kind of shop front almost of these containers uh yeah I get something like that this one this one feels so open i just don't think that's going to work there so we'll leave that kevin nielsen hello from ohio i always want to get into a build like this but just don't have the patience uh so thanks to creators like you for scratching that itch thank you so much for the five years dollar super chat i really appreciate it thank you and uh thank you for your kind words yeah it um it takes a lot of patience but i i, I, I don't know i just i when you get something that looks really cool in the end i think it's worth it it's totally worth it um oh ground is shaking <laughs> uh this road here i'm not i may yeah i'm gonna pull this back i think because i think we need something up against this key i think that's gone too far with it too far so if we do that we could put in some more of these marketplaces here and actually right before we do anything let's get rid of the fence here because it doesn't look good um 
and that can just keep it a bit more open. So if we look at the orientation of it as well, this that high wall, although annoyingly where the benches are, I feel like goes best at the back there. So what we could do as well is get rid of those benches. Just get rid of everything from it. Um, oops, did I do that? Benches. Is there a different bench? Oh, beer garden bench. There we go. Right, missed that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if we get rid of those, then I'm thinking that high wall could go up against the key. Although you would blatantly see all the teenagers like jumping off the key into this. I probably would have done that. Looks fun. <laughs> Looks fun. Right. Um, in fact, let's, we can move this up a bit more into the corner here, I think. Uh, what's that look like from further out? Yeah, I don't mind that. And we can put some stuff in front of it. That could be where we start to... Do you want the food... Oh, yeah, I'm just thinking the food court. Maybe we do that over here, actually. So let's um, let's just get rid of these. We can have the marketplace stalls up the back. So we'll put them in first. And then we can do a food court in the middle here. Around this particular area. And then we can as well. I'm just going to bend that in so that's a little bit more curvy. So cause it, doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be straight like that. Which I think looks all right. One of the few people to pronounce my Welsh name. What, Reese? Is that is that the correct pronunciation? <laughs> I'm terrible at getting uh, getting names wrong. Um, Oradin reminds me of the city that I studied in my high school. Oh, that's that, well, that's. I hope it's good memories. <laughs> I hope it's good memories. <laughs> Loving this series, you have very quickly become my favourite city builder with your detailing channel. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you, and welcome in. Thank you. Appreciate that. Donut fans are like Comic Sans just to render us, but you kind of love them for what they are, lol. That, yeah, ex exactly, that is it, right? That is it. That is it indeed. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's uh, let's get these market stalls in. Oh, someone's tied at the skate park. <laughs> oh dear. Is it because they uh, jumped off the key wall? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> That's bad. Right. Yeah, let's just line these markets up. We can have... I think these work quite well up against the key. I'm quite liking that. The roofs as well. Um, yeah, have a look out and see if anyone walks down that that path because I haven't seen anyone do it yet. I wonder if it's like not connected properly or something. Maybe me doing no control on it. Screwed it. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we have quite a big row of that in there. Maybe we could, could even have one more in here, actually. Squeeze it in. Why not? Why not? Um, yeah. Let's do that. Awesome. Yeah, I really like those up against the key, actually. I'm wondering if we should continue that on down this area. We can come back to that. We can come back to that. So, okay. So yeah what we want in here i'm thinking actually i'm going to use quite a few of these um and we can have these kind of almost back to back in the middle here with a little bit of a gap because obviously they need to be able to get in and out <laughs> just leave a tiny little gap for the sims um and then yeah we can have just a load of different food truck type assets down here because there's a few different ones that we can use so yeah, we can definitely use both of those. And then if we come into the uh, high density commercial and it's the modern modern city centre content creator pack. Yeah, these. Like really I actually really like these assets. I usually hate one by one assets in this game in general. But these um these are great. Like I think they're a good addition because you can do stuff like this with it. Like quite nicely. Um Maybe actually we do keep these in quite a straight line and then what we can do is build out a massive area with benches in here. Like I'm kind of, I'm thinking Camden-ish in my mind. Um, yeah, something like that. I kind of want some little tents or umbrellas or something to go over them, like better, bigger than the ones that we've got in game. It would look pretty cool there, I think. But in fact, what I will do with these is just move them all the way up. So they kind of look quite good terraced. Get a little wall of those in. And actually what I will do is continue that on and we can just have the have a couple of um the park life ones up the other end as well. But yeah, let's continue these on. Jack's curry and Ali's fries, yum. Oh see that's got a vending machine on it though, so let's uh that one can go to the end. So it's not gonna work in the terrace format. 
Perest format. Yeah. Airport's DLC is arriving in less than two days. It is, yeah. Yeah. Excited. Excited. I'm really excited to see the trees, mainly. <laughs> I love a tree. Yakisoba literally means fried noodles. Which one's the yakisoba? Is that one of these? Missed that. Oh, these two are the same. Right, okay, let's delete one of those out. Let's get rid of that. Is this the same one? Oh, that's... Okay, right. So that's the one with the vending machine. I know I could use Bob and just get rid of it. I, I do realise that, but... I'm not going to. I might want it elsewhere in the build. <laughs> I want it elsewhere. Uh, so yeah, let's just bring that in. In fact, actually, we could kind of finish it off there. And then what I will do is copy all of them. And turn it around so that we've got them on both sides. And I don't think, yeah, they don't really they don't really need a back to them actually. So they could go right up against each other. Make them very, very small. And I don't know where they're getting it out, but apparently there's no doors on them anyway. Unless that is a door at the back. And I mean it doesn't look like it. <laughs> they can climb in and out through the hatch, right? <laughs> do that. I get free trees tomorrow and I need for a purchase. <laughs> Wait, tomorrow? <laughs> Did I miss a date? Take out every other menu board, one white on the right, one black on the left. Open out the front of the market. Oh, what, here? Yeah, that's a good shout, because they do overlap, don't they? Oh, minor details. That's a, that's a spot. <laughs> that is a spot. Um, I don't know if we can. There is an invisible parking space on these, though, which is 100% going to have to go. Um, I don't think we can. The boards aren't in the props, which is annoying. Game gets updated tomorrow before... Oh, I didn't even realise that. Okay, that's really good to know. Thanks, Hexy. Uh, I've got an exciting day tomorrow then. Woohoo! <laughs> Get to look at trees. Um, right, I'm going to move all of these over because that's a little bit of a random angle. I think if we put them right in the middle, then we can extend it out with some of these. I'm not really liking the ice cream van there, so we can move that out. Um, so let's... In fact, we could do a row this way. So we're going to have benches in there and benches in there where people can eat. Um, right, let's just change that. And we can spin some of these around. Really want to be able to change these colours. <laughs> and I know, yeah. I know, I could. But we can't. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Then... We could, I mean, to the market, market stall now, it doesn't look right here. Not a market stall. Could do, um, could do one of these. Potentially, like, it's just like a little food stall, but it's got a bench in it. Um, have it kind of going around this area. And then we can put something bigger, actually, out the back here. So, yeah, let's just get rid of that. Um and try and find something that's going to fit in i kind of want one of the yeah the ones with a bit of greenery on it so maybe it's uh this one. Oh, i need to get rid of the ice cream <laughs> ice cream truck bye bye um yeah see that one doesn't look too bad in here and we can give it a bit of a, a frontage a bit of a forecourt on there and as well do a little bit of a path behind it so we get people walking behind that'll be good That'll be good. Right, so let's get some tables in. Let's get some tables in. Um, in here. Yeah, these are the ones that come with the assets. So we may as well just continue these on out front, actually. Um, so let's get the prop and tree anarchy on. Yeah, I think maybe just like that. And then we can... Add in some of the little planters. Just out the front here, maybe. And I won't do a whole row of them. I'm just going to do it dotted around so there's kind of space for people to walk in and out of it. Um, in fact, actually, we're going to need another table there because it continues on around there. But I will just uh, try and get that to match the colours. Oh, actually, they're, yeah, they're different in there, so that's fine. That's fine. Um, and then let's just bring in one more of these on this corner. Around the side here. 
No. Maybe we just do a couple of these single blocks down here just to uh, frame off that area. Yeah. A little bit random. Yeah, the skate park is very hard to blend in. <laughs> it's really hard to blend in. Um, yeah, right. I'm thinking, so down here we're going to have rows and rows of these. And I'm thinking that orientation rather than crossways. So, yeah, let's just have a little look. And I, what I will do is a path in front of that as well, so we can get people walking along in front. Spartacus, I'm showing a steer as I stumbled across it and got addicted. <laughs> Thanks. Hopefully a good addiction, right? <laughs> And welcome in, welcome in as well. Can't wait for your airport when the time comes. As always, simple and neat detailing. Thank you for the content. You're very welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm really glad you're enjoying it. Is it possible possible to play this just a normal business laptop? Is a game of PC needed? Um, you can you can play it on a normal business laptop, but if you wanna if you wanna start playing with mods and well assets as well, um, and you get too into the workshop, then you need to get a bit more RAM or a better CPU than just a regular office laptop, I'd say. But I did play this with, I don't know, 30, 40 mods on an 8 gig RAM um, laptop for a, a little while and it ran fine. Like, as soon as you get to a big city, you start to struggle. But to be frank, like, you start to struggle even with a big PC. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, you absolutely can. And you can play the vanilla game, certainly, on, on that. So let's uh, copy these and do it again in the other side. Might have to move those buildings slightly over so they're a little bit more in the middle. In fact, I don't think that's going to work this side. So let's, um, let's just copy one row and we can place these over here. And I might have to get rid of the one on the end as well. We'll just get rid of this one. Um, yeah, okay. And then I will just move these over very, very slightly so they're more in the middle. And then we can bring out... Oh, look, people are going up there already. Are they just walking down there without a path? Oh, well, that's good. All right, I'll leave that then. And did I put a path down the middle there? I can't even remember now. I think I might have done. I have one there. Street lamp. Uh, it's a little bit random in the middle there, but I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So what we need here is some kind of border to it as well. I'm actually thinking maybe this edge, which I don't use very often, but I feel it might work here. Let's just uh, get those all up. Oh, I missed one. Missed one. I'm gonna move them up a tiny bit closer. Should just lay these out with prop line tool, right? <laughs> I'm very good at uh, forgetting about the uh, the mobs that I've got and their usefulness. <laughs> Um, so okay, right, let's do that and then we can adjust the end one. How do we feel about that one? I'll zoom in a little bit. I feel like with the metal on it, it just gives a different layer to it. It's very dark though, that's the only thing. It's very dark. Um, right, so let's bring that up and then what we'll do is move this one over. So bring it in just a little bit and try and line up those uh, little metal bits as much as possible so it doesn't look too odd. Yeah, there we go. Um, right. Yeah, exactly the same down here, I think. And then that'll be fine for this little bit. Okay. And then what we do need to do is exactly the same thing on the other side. <laughs> So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just do that quickly. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit under time pressure with the streams because I definitely want to try and keep it under two hours. Because um, otherwise, so it's like more manageable for people to uh, to look at. But I can spend hours and hours and hours doing this detailing. So um, yeah, there might be little things that are still left over at the end of it, but that's absolutely fine. Okay. That's that little bit. So here, again, I think we could do with something that's maybe a little bit taller, a little bit of extra height in this particular area. Can you lower the skate park into the concrete with me? But that's a good shout. I'll try that in a second, actually. That might 
yeah that might look good take the middle tables out oh what was give them a little bit of a break in here that's a good shout as well yeah I like that i might leave them there though in fact what we can do actually let's just move them up really slightly so we've got a bit more of a break in the middle as well although these are le like less needed i guess because they're um not too deep but yeah it breaks it up a bit more that's definitely a good one um yeah and what actually i will do because i think every food court needs this is add a couple of bins in the middle <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of urban vibes. Right, okay, we can try and sink the skate park. Um yeah, it's gonna it's gonna move the ground. So we, yeah, we won't be able to sink it in, which is a bit annoying. Um Yeah, that's not gonna work. But that if that worked, that would have been a really cool thing. Have a sunken skate skate pit. That would be awesome. You've inspired me to try to do a vanilla plus map myself and see if I can live without being a perfectionist. Yeah. <laughs> the vanilla assets, like, I do, like, some of them are really charming. Others are absolutely horrendous, but, like, some of them are all right. Like, yeah. I feel like this is coming together reasonably well. Like, this whole this whole area, I need to come through and um, tidy them up because I really, I don't like, when you zone stuff in, I don't like how, like, that building next to this one looks way too random. Um, that's what I don't like about just mass zoning but when you can sort them out they look kind of they look kind of cute next to each other they're all right they're all right um okay so let's let's just try and finish this off before half past nine my time so what i want actually down this side is the university content creator pack um com low density commercial buildings because i think they will work quite nicely on the edge of this complex um so yeah let's get these in and then we can line them all up and of course we still need to come through and detail up the front of the key here as well which i will do so i'm so slow at this we may <laughs> we may not get to finish this today but it will be finished <laughs> it will be finished right we could leave mm, we could terrace it we could terrace it uh we've got to be a little bit wary of the backs of these as well though because it's going to need a back street coming up so we have to change up this residential development but that's that's fine um so yeah i think we could have a little bit of an alleyway through there that would be all right um and then yeah we'll bring this one up next to this yeah i think that looks pretty cool i really like these another like great great content creator pack if you don't have it already i absolutely love this one um the yeah the commercial buildings are awesome um we could have a catfish cafe in here where is it there we go don't know if it fits quite as well next to this other building mm, not a catfish cafe on the corner no i don't like that don't like that i'll try and have another one of the same type in here if we can manage to just about squeeze it in uh that's same one let's get rid of that try this one so we might just have to might just have to shuffle these up a little bit we can leave that as a really really narrow alleyway there i think and then yeah shuffle these up oh that's super tight <laughs> that is super tight um oh i just realized that is a that's not good so what we could do here potentially is just move this over a little tiny bit so I don't think that's going to affect anything too badly there. Um, it does mean we're going to have to <laughs> play around with the key again. Uh, what is going on there then? That is uh, not ideal. Is that where the key sunk in? So we might have to raise this up a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. We can have a little tiny wall to it there. Might just have to live with that. We could move it back and do some more rocks actually. That's another another option there. So let's do that. And then hopefully it won't oops won't tear down that road yeah we'll do that we'll do that you learnt bob and the spawn point mods from your videos you're sitting there looking good you know what? i i i am um, early on in my twitch stream so i hadn't used bob much really actually before i started streaming because it's a reasonably recent um recent mod and yeah i hadn't used it much uh yeah i had a had a mod lesson midstream because <laughs> i couldn't figure it out but it is actually like now 
for detailing one of my favourite mods that there is. Like, it is so useful. So, yeah, love that one. Love that one. There's always stuff I can learn about mods. I'm, I'm definitely, like, not a... But like, there's people who know the ins and outs of everything um, to do with them, and that is not me. <laughs> I'm still learning new stuff all the time. But I think that's just the way it has to be done. Let's uh, let's use brush. Oh, what I was going to do in here was a little bit of a wall, but actually I don't think we really need it. I don't think we really need it. Um, let's go find it. I'm just going to raise this up a tiny bit. Yeah, because that lip isn't too bad there, so I think we can just come through with a little bit of brush and tidy that up. I realise I've now got away from the finishing off the uh, square. But yeah, from certain angles we can't see the lip. <laughs> certain angles. Um, maybe adjust the spawn point so that the trucks don't drive through the benches. Yeah, I will absolutely come around and do that. Don't worry. I'm not going to do it on the stream because it will take ages to do all of these individual buildings. But yeah, I will definitely do that. That's exactly what I did um, over on the commercial bit down there because, yeah, it looks wrong when they... And they drive straight through, right? Uh, yeah. That is a little bit weird there. I'm just thinking, do we want do we want a row of trees up here? Should we have a little row of trees? I don't know if they'd like take away from the whole oops, the whole kind of grandeur of it. If we had lots of No, a little tree would be alright, wouldn't it? A little tree. I'm just typing in tree there, that's not what I meant to do. Um Maybe one like this. Could do that. Not that, um, definitely not that dense. I say making it more dense. Um, yeah, we could do that. Maybe a little bit further apart again. Let's just see how that looks. Bit too tree heavy. What do we think? More green? Some happy little trees. <laughs> Spawn point would be a good name for a park, it would, yeah. <laughs> a couple of cypress trees, maybe, yeah. Perhaps a small parking lot. What in here? That'd be a very small parking lot. Oh what, one of the like little one by fours. Potentially squeeze it in. Oh we could put a parking lot in here actually. Although I kind of no, I kind of want to flesh it out with more of the same, which we're not going to get onto today, unfortunately. So I will, um, I will do that between now and the next episode, and then give a little rundown of it before we, uh, before we crack on with that episode. Because yeah, we're just not not got the time to finish this off today. It takes me too long to do this stuff. <laughs> takes me too long. JJR, welcome. Hello. Some flowering bushes, maybe. Um, what along here? Yeah, that would help. Um, that would help break up a bit of this greenery. I think what I will do is we need to put in some paths here. So I'm going to do a couple of connections through uh, just to make sure that people are walking onto it, um, which is probably not useful in the middle there. I'm just thinking it probably should be in this corner where I've basically just put one, but so be it. Um, and we'll do one straight out here. We can come through and tidy up that uh, terrain there as well. And then what I will do is, yeah, I think a little bit of... A tiny bit of nature reserve fence just along the road. Although we have got farm fence the other side. Let's do farm fence um, so that it matches. Let's do that. Yeah. Farm fence so it matches. I think it'd be a good shout there. We'll do that all the way along. And then, yeah, let's get in some flowers, I think. Like a nice row of something reasonably bright would be pretty cool in there. Um, again, we could have it, like, spaced out. If we can get that in between the trees quite neatly. Meh. Uh, could do something like that. I wonder if actually, like, a different colour would be better. Yellow and orange one. Maybe this? Don't know what we think about that. DJ, welcome. Hello, welcome on in. Mini fun fair. Loving the concept. We are we are absolutely gonna do an amusement park somewhere. Um, but I don't think there's space to do it in here. And uh, plus I haven't locked in, uh, unlocked any of the um assets from the amusement park yet, so we haven't got them available to use. But actually it could be cool to have like one little ride in that corner or something. Be kind of fun. I quite like that. 
I quite like the yellow colour um, with all the rest of it. This path as well, I haven't sorted this out, so let's just, I think, what if we can try and make it look a little bit symmetrical, we could do something like that. <laughs> a little bit, a uh, little bit random. Um, in fact, what we could do if we move that up, is that too much? Oh, we can see underneath it now. Move, we can't move that through it. Well, um, let's just undo that. Mm, move it right back again. I still see underneath it a tiny bit actually, but is that all right? Oops, not that one, not that one. That's still that same node. Are they attached? No, let's move it back. Move that in like so. It's not very symmetrical, but I think it's all right. I think it's all right. Love the yellow flowers. Okay, good. Truck ban would mean businesses wouldn't get deliveries. Sadly, yeah, no, we can't do truck ban. That's why I've kept them on. Um, it does look a bit <laughs> with the tractor <laughs> driving through it. Looks a bit random, but unfortunately, yeah, that is what it is. Unless I move all of the spawn points actually to the main road, and then we could. So that's an option. I think a parking lot asset across from the skate park would be fairly realistic. Yeah, in this bit. Oh well, oh we could do some in here, like right up next to it. it might actually fit in. Give that a little little go. Um, we'll just turn collision off a second before I absolutely balls everything up. Um, and I don't want that snapping for nose. Yeah. Uh, maybe doing it like this is not the right way. So maybe, although we'd have cars coming in here, that's the only thing. Um, unless we just draw in just this bit and don't have it actually connected by road but then no i think i think it's not big enough there we could do a big one here so it's like actually connected to this road and draw it out something like that not quite like that um let's just move that up <laughs> definitely not like that <laughs> sunken car park um that's just that Maybe a Ferris wheel. Yeah, it would look really cool, but I haven't... Oh, we could... I mean... <laughs> I think that's a little bit... Yeah, that's way too big. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I haven't unlocked it yet. So, in time. But we could just leave this blank and wait till we've uh, unlocked some more cool stuff. Like, the trampoline park would go really well in here as well. Karina, you made it for the last ten minutes. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah. Glad you made it for the last ten minutes. <laughs> Minor, go to late to the party. Hello, hello, welcome. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am going to be wrapping it up in yeah the next ten minutes. David looks great. Thank you. I think the parking lot should be across the street. What the other side? Yeah, we could do one in there. We've got the one down by the ferry there. I haven't even looked at the ferries going backs and forwards. You know, I don't even know if that bridge is tall enough. Um, we'll have a look at that. I'll have a look at that before we go. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking not in here. I think we definitely want to bring out more of these kind of market. I like those how those box things have come out. So I think we want to do a few more of those. Something with a little bit of height. I also really like this building actually because of the greenery on the roof. So I think we could do with another one of those. Um, so in fact, let's just uh, let's just copy some of these. Let's just get it done. Let's copy those and then come all the way over here. Um, in fact, I'm thinking actually they can go up against this eatery area. So they could come in like that. And then what we will do is move the bigger one out to this side. So it's up more against the road. I've just realised there's tables on the roof there as well. I don't even think I clocked that before. I really like, I really like this building. <laughs> I really like that one. That is a good one. Um, and they've got stairs at the back so we can have a path coming through there so people can walk and then we just want one more asset for in here um, which we could do something slightly bigger not that big again not that big um, maybe this one is it a little bit too long still has that kind of well it's part of the organic produce local produce pack isn't it so it still has the same sort of feel to it 
Um, let's just move up these ones. Minor as few sees rage, yeah. <laughs> Killing the stream. No, not just yet. A few more minutes. <laughs> A few more minutes. Um, right, yeah, cool. Oh no, I was going to move them closer, wasn't I? So we've got a little bit more room to play with behind. I think that's all right, and then I will just um, we'll just bring up a little path behind. Yeah, that'll do. That's all right for that bit. Need to do something in there, which I will think about. And actually, we've still got another. We've still got we've got plenty more space to fill in. Plenty more space to fill in. Um, what we could do some more of those boxes in there. I think I think we'll leave that. Leave that for now. I'm just going to tidy up this bit up here. Just fill that in. Um, I don't really mind that coming out there. Looks all right. This bit's a little bit messy. Uh, again, I don't really mind that on the diagonal. That's okay. So yeah, we need a bit more detailing behind there. We definitely need some assets in here. Around the skate park needs fixing, and this square needs filling in. So um, yeah, I will come and do that before the next episode, and then I'll give you a, like a little rundown um, of what we've done before then but let's just before we call it a day today just finish off the end of this key because it sort of stops quite abruptly so what i want to do is try and um use some of these rocks here to give it a little bit more of an edge we need to get rid of that tree rogue tree could i please do a little european old town district would fit really good uh they're like a tourist attraction yeah we totally could do what you mean like uh kind of what the high density european i mean i probably will bring them in somewhere like as in like an old town district but um yeah still kind of still kind of deciding on that still very much deciding on the downtown i've got i've got some ideas but um <laughs> i don't know exactly where i want it the the main central business district to be but um i'm still working on that bit Home Charge Deck has been my top inspiration for years. I'm glad to have found you three through his channel. Thanks for all the great content. You're welcome, Red Ninja. And Home Charge Egg has also been my top inspiration for years. So there we go. <laughs> I'd be really happy for that. Good. Okay. Do that with the old Market Street, maybe. Yeah. See, that that like calls out for, um, absolutely calls out for the European high density next to it, that, that asset for sure. And that's definitely going to go in. I'm going to try and use as many of the, uh, as many of the um, uh, unique assets as possible here. All right, should we? Let's just uh, let's just finish. I haven't finished off this waterfront either, so I will, <laughs> I will come down and do all that. And uh, what I will do before before we call it a day and before we look at the ferries, I'm just going to add in little paths here so people can walk across. Um, just a couple of little paths on all of these crossings um, and hopefully then people might actually walk them walk down to the uh, ferry that way we could do one on the end here as well so i need to come in and do some detailing on that lots more to fill in but um is anyone even using our ferries not even check that passenger service zero <laughs> do you know what I, was I did think this was a bit of a pointless line because we've got the tram flow in there is that literally is it actually zero one passenger. Oh, that's good. Well, that, that makes up for it. Zero on that one. <laughs> yeah, zero. So we've got one passenger using our ferry. That's great. <laughs> that's great. I'd love to see an amusement park or zoo at some point. Oh, they'll, they'll 100% happen. Yeah, 100%. Honkart, welcome. Good evening. I am about to call it a day. Bouncy Castle Park. Yeah, that would be awesome as well. That would be awesome. <laughs> um, right. Right, where should, we, where, should we, where should we call it a day? Where should we call it a day? I didn't even, I missed the ferry going through the bridge as well then. I'll have to check that. Um, I think I think what I'm going to do actually is leave it here. Do we want to have a little bit of a, a nighttime view as well? Oh, let's, um, let me come down to here. I'm going to back it up a little bit. I just want to see, yeah, I like that. I like that, I like that. Um, yeah, that works. Okay, I'm pleased with that. Oops, wrong button. Here we go, night time. Have a little look around. There's a lot of lights. <laughs> There's a lot of lights. I do like the solar updraft in the background as well. But um, 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's still loads more to finish off on that, but it will happen at some point. But yeah, massive thank you. 250, suddenly 255 people here. That's absolutely mental to me. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, and thank you so much for all the super chats for everyone. You've been insanely, insanely generous. Egg, Brad, uh, Catterall, Arthur, Olivia, Josh, Predrag, Sarah, Kevin, all of you. Like, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. It's like, yeah, really means the world to me. I'm completely blown away. So, um, yeah, thank you. And I also want to, I'm going to put that up. So I do want to shout out to my amazing patrons. Thank you so much for all of your support as well. Um, and yeah, that's it. We'll see you next time. <laughs> see you next time. Thank you. And good night. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.